Everything's ready to head out again this morning. Oops. Oh, but this is not my. Coyotes and cows last night. Coyotes and cows. We visited, but I don't think we were. Nah. I don't think so. I think we avoided the attack of the cow. I'm having trouble getting this on. Thank you. It's pretty cold this morning. I see your own black. See your own breath. I can smell your breath. Hey. <laughs> just, I just brushed my teeth. Oh. I fear you could find some other places you have to carry it out. <laughs> All right. Oh. Started out, it was a nice and easy little trail right here. Somewhere. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Should be hitting the sun pretty soon. We were in it for just a second, but. Bed, yeah, you don't want a cow walking through there <laughs> with you in the way. So we're, I think we're like at 4,400 feet or so. So and that's why it was still kind of cool last night. Definitely in the sun now. It won't take long for me to get my jacket off. Well, I just came up to this gate. Roger dropped his glasses and he was about to leave and he ordered a special order. And he doesn't want to do that again. So I don't know. So he went back to get them. Hopefully he finds them because it'll be a bummer to go all the way back. It's only like four tenths of a mile back to the site. And we think we dropped them about halfway. But I hope he finds them. Otherwise, it's just like a, another half a mile he walked for nothing. Anyway, so here we go. And we've had some nice rolling hills. I know there's going to be a pretty big up. Oh, Lordy. Um, not big, but considering we're just in the rolling hills, it's a good little up. But um, look at all this grass. This, that's why this is such primo ranch land. It's just grass. And they have all these tanks, which is like just a big, you know, lake that they, or pond that they built for all the, for all the cows so that they're just self-sufficient. They have the babies out here and everything. I just haven't seen a bull. And there's got to be a bull if there's females having babies. So just a little bit weary of this bull because I've almost been... I was almost killed by a bull that we had our our own bull that knew me, so not not really excited about seeing a bull. Did hear coyotes, and uh, that is always concerning. But you never know how big a group they are. The bigger the group, the more you should be concerned. But it sounded like a few, and they were far away, so you hear them sometimes. Anyway, we're going up. Let's see if we can see where we're going from here.
could be any of these hills. If I had to wager to guess. Hmm. Got no guess. Could be. I don't see any trail up there. I don't see any trail there. I don't see anything over there. It might be. I hear doves. That might be just right over this one. Who knows? I'll keep you posted. I'm coming up to what looks like the top. Sometimes we're fooled with a false summit, but this looks like it might be the top. I don't know. Oh, it's another one coming up. Oh, look at this. We just come from that side of that direction in that little grassy area. Beautiful. There's a hill here. Beautiful. Mm, let's go let's see if we can ow, summit this. This is. I was trying to. It's not those white thorned acacia. I'm not sure. I'm trying to learn all the desert plant life. I've got about 30 of them down, but there's so many things. This is it. This is a white thorn acacia. And when it gets bigger, the thorns aren't as white. When they're little, they're just all covered in white thorns. And on the. You can kind of see some white thorns here. Wonder what it looks like when it's all full bloom. I want to look at pictures of that. Full bloom. Probably in April or so. May. They have a very cool monsoon season here, which is probably why they have all these grasslands. The monsoon monsoon season. They can if you collected water, you can collect enough for a whole year. Because it rains so much during that season. And I think that's the reason why they have grass here. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense to have grass in the uh I still think we have another summit somewhere, but that was the top in the desert. A lot of grass. Beautiful, though. Look at those mountains. And over there, I wonder if those are the Wachukas. I'm not sure. Ooh, up in that one, I can see kind of see a cave up there. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, right in the middle. Cool. wonder what lives in there. And I can hear the doves. Can you guys hear the doves? Out in the distance, down in these green valleys here. It doesn't really show up green, but they're very green. <laughs> I just heard them. There they go. I don't have a very good microphone. But I don't. That was it. That's a lot of grass. Somebody maintains this because there's a lot of cut grass. I'm thankful for that. Not to have to like trudge through grass. As it warms up, it's gonna get, we're gonna have snakes out. They like the trail because they sunbathe in the open area. Whew. Go take a break. I'm still waiting. It's been at least 45 minutes since he went back. I hope you found it. It'll be all those miles for nothing. Oh, wow, so pretty. I'm going to stay right here in the shade, though. Wait for him. Oh, you're drinking. You probably need that water. Uh, okay, so I hiked back to where we took our jackets off. <laughs> and there's a rock there, right? Yeah. Didn't see anything. So I took my pack off, and I set it down, and then I went without my pack. Wow. Back, thinking maybe it's back where that toyo was. 
Yeah. Got there, it was nothing. Mm -hmm. So I know it wasn't that far to camp. So I went all the way back to camp, walked around oh the campground, nothing. Followed the, the trip, the track back, nothing. Uh, didn't see anything. So I finally got to my pack. And when I picked my pack up, they were on the ground. <laughs> they were on your pack somewhere, maybe? Somewhere they were stuck in my pack. When I put it down, <laughs> they came off. I'm so sorry, babe. I should have looked at your pack. No, I, I looked. But it was like obviously stuck somewhere. Oh, boy. So, anyways, I got them. Okay, cool. Dilla, it's just so nice. But you just went back a half mile more, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you got them. There got you go. Em. Hopefully that's the last up, but probably not. That fence is a little iffy. Close the gate? Huh? Close the gate? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Turn inside, get your water. <laughs> Keep going. I never remember which side. Thank you. Maybe I'll just replace it, huh? Um, Always a dilemma, because we got one trail that looks pretty, pretty significant going up to the bald, and then we have one trail going down. So Roger picked down, and I just waited. He checked his navigation, and it looks like that's the way, right way. Oh, here we go. Look at that mountain. Beautiful. Look at that. We've been looking at that for the last two days. It's like a big red rock mountain. Hopefully we don't have to go over it. <laughs> oh, but we have to go over some of these hills at some point right now. We only have two miles and it's like, I thought it was downhill. <laughs> uh, story of our life. Story of our life. Oh. I was seeing this umbrella in the grass. It looked funny. I didn't quite get it, but all I could see was your umbrella in the grass. It looked funny. Oh. So green. We're almost to the top, I think. So, but I always say that. <laughs> I think we're almost to the top of this hill. And then we're supposed to be going down, but down doesn't mean down, it means down with bumps. <laughs> Not sure what these are. <sighs> it is. I think it's the top. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, it's very pretty. Look at it. I think I see a road, but I don't know. Could be just a trail. Is it this way? No. Yeah, it's this way. Okay. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. I think I see a house way over there. Yeah, I do. Huh. Okay. There's those beautiful boulders over there. Let's see if you can see the house. Right there. Oh, yeah. Farmland or something. We're getting close to town. It's a town yeah, day. Close to the road. Close to the road to the town. We made it to the top of another hill. <laughs> There's that hill. But you can see. Patagonia, which is 
right. Oh, I think it's right there. I'm not sure. And up there are those ridges. Are those cliffs, those red cliffs. Oopsie. Um, and then the house that we were looking at is right there with like a gar like a garden. Like a uh, a field for I guess it would be garden, but on a big scale, like farming. Ooh. But we're going down now, so Ugh. close up of Patagonia. Let's see how it's going. 